Maria, thanks so much. You know, there's a group of California scientists trying to figure out why mudslides happen. The Weather Channel's Dave, Dave Malkoff is at a California lab that could save lives all over the planet. Good morning, Dave. Good morning, you guys. We are here in this giant facility here at the California Institute of Technology where scientists are doing something they've never done before, building a man-made rock slide. These are the kind of things that excite people with crazy job titles. I'm a geomorphologist, and that means geomorphologist. I... Geomorphologist. Geomorphologist, that's my specialty. Basically, Professor Mike Lamb studies how the Earth changes. Exactly. But yeah. to attract a crowd to a geology demonstration... It was kind of hilarious. <laughs> these scientists had to bust out the free pizza. So my name's Jeff Francovic. I'm a third-year graduate student here. Jeff, Mike, and their colleagues want to know how disasters begin. Sediments actually crushed walnut shells. So they've built smaller versions of the rivers and hillsides that cause this. February 2010, just steps away from the Caltech campus, a mudslide tore through 43 homes. Now, we call it a mudslide, but it's actually much more than that because it's not just mud coming down the hill. It's up to boulders, even car size. Um, chunks of rock wiping out houses and crushing cars. The correct term is debris flow. If you think about these debris flows as carrying as much rock as a rock avalanche, debris flows do claim many people's lives. These experiments are teaching scientists how debris flows start. Turns out it all begins with these tiny pieces floating in rivers long before the disaster. The sediment sits there, waits like a loaded gun until the rainfall comes. And that should be happening relatively soon. Yeah, it's fun to watch the demo. But they're still trying to figure out what triggers the rocks. That's why they've built a 20,000 gallon version of the demo. These rocks, they call them grains, are bigger and they're all glued down. To find out what actually is going on, we need to measure the forces directly on the grains. This yellow rock is attached to a computer that measures how water moves these pieces. They want to know where and when these rock slides begin so they can warn future neighborhoods to look out below. Yeah, there's a lot they don't know about the way water pushes the earth around, but the more they do these experiments, the more they know about what nature does. At Caltech, I'm Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel.